my show, Sparkle House. This is a collaborative show between me and my friend Colin McRae. He does the metal work and I do paintings. Um, this is one of my paintings from a previous collection which the gallery has decided to hang just to, uh, to show some context for the current show. Uh, this painting is called Sing Eleanor. Um, this painting is, was painted about a year ago. Um, I've been really interested in painting boats and collaging boats. I just think that boats have a lot of symbolic potential and are really interesting. And for me, you know, they represent, you know, safety, you know, in a dangerous place, but also um, they in themselves are very dangerous and they represent commerce and discovery and conquest. They're just loaded images and I love the shapes and I love to imagine all the living spaces inside. Got a big one. I was really interested in quilting. Um, there's a local group of quilters in Powell River and I thought, oh, I really want to do that, but I thought of time for more hobbies. So it occurred to me a couple of years later to do the quilting and paint and it would be faster and I could do those relationships that I want to do, you know, um, relationships of scraps. Um, it's a great opportunity for more narrative, like I mentioned, you know, loving the narrative. Because in a quilt, you know, every piece of fabric represents someone's life or some event. And it's an opportunity to paint all the paintings I want to do in one painting. <laughs> and it just has such a feeling of warmth. And um, I love the aesthetic of a quilt. And it's really fun to go big like this. And so this is a pretty literal painting of a quilt. And from then on, I decided to see how I could stretch this idea. And as I'm kind of drawn into the landscape naturally, I tried to see how I could work a landscape into the quilt. So if we go to the opposite wall over here, the thing is called the Big Island. In my world, the Big Island means Vancouver Island because I'm on the Sunshine Coast. And um, it's like the place you go where everything happens. This piece started out as a landscape. Um, it was working so-so. So I started closing it in with a border and closing it in with more squares and crossing the landscape over with the quilt. And I think this has a very strong narrative quality. I don't know what the story is, but you gotta wonder who lives here, whose symbols are these, who are these characters, and these animal characters are kind of weird, but to me they're kind of about our weird relationship with animals. Like we don't, being animals alone isn't enough, right? We need to dress up our dogs and um, um, I, I don't know. Uh, also, this talks to me about um, moving into um, a natural area and attaching our ideas to it. Um, you know, the, 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 um, these remind me of like imperial crests. Yeah, it's kind of a window into a story that I hope a viewer will put, enjoy putting together. Sparkle House. One more thing. Check this out. Wow. Special effects. Come see. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so I started doing this work about 12 years ago, um, sort of by coincidence I ended up uh, finding my way into uh, a friend's basement and had some welding equipment, I fooled around with it a bit, I thought it was a great idea, I was a musician for years and I started doing, I also had an interest in visual arts, so I took the sort of ideas with that I had for, for imagery and with, with painting and other things and I thought it would be interesting to start building structures out of these ideas because I do enjoy the process of building, I enjoy the physics of it and the, the idea of taking a taking a, a, some, a visual and sort of creating a structure. Um, so with doing that I, I started to establish this sort of process out of um, you know, just just an idea to, to sort of take metal and take it into its uh, an unfamiliar sort of context, state, whatever, refine it, and and it's and it's been sort of it's been an interesting uh, progress, uh, progressive sort of establishment for me in that sense. Uh, it's worked into not only doing artwork but doing a lot of I'm interested in architecture, um, design, and so it's kind of it, it it allows for that for the medium to cross over into so many different elements, like hanging art on the walls to like doing functional, structural, ornamental work, commercial stuff in restaurants, other things as such. So it's it, it has a, a, a great sort of uh, realm uh, which it enables me to go to different, uh, different um, you know, uh, implications with it all. So, you know, so it, it, it's, uh, it keeps me stimulated in that way, you know. And so and it also allows me to, to do it commercially, uh, earn a living off of designing and making art, you know, not necessarily just relying on doing art shows and galleries and so on and so forth. So, so that was a, a bit of a, a drive to getting into it, you know, and when I started doing it, it was like, okay, here's something that I can be creative with and I can also, uh, there's a monetary element that, that is, that works for me as well. So, so it's, 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 and it, and it has worked out in a way. So, and it's in, you know, here I am doing an art show, but yet I'll go and work on a piece for an installation in a home or do something in a restaurant, you know, down the road. So, so it's kind of, it's a nice broad base, you know, to work with. Um, the work that I do uh, is narrative and metaphorical and, and uh, you know, I, I reflect off of just various, uh, you know, my reflection on, on you know, what I, what I pick up through, whether it be political, economic, uh, emotional, um, you know, all different sides of reflection, so, and uh, with, with that it's, it's creating the movement in a structure uh, as it is in its, in its, in its it creating movement within a piece that's at its, you know, something that's, that maintains its kinetic idea and, 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 and a, trying to create movement and trying to uh, take the elements, the medium, and push it to a different uh, level, soften it. Um, it's metal, but I want to, you know, make it, take it out of its usual form, you know. So that, you know, with all that in creating the imagery, creating the layers, pushing the, the relief, it's, it's, it makes it interesting, you know, it stimulates me anyways. You know. So...
like one of the jobs. <laughs> <laughs>